Hey everybody, welcome to Here's Out. I'm Patrick. And I'm Paul. And we're doing an episode about franchises that have maybe run their course. Mm. Tell the people at home what else we do, Paul. So, we release videos every Tuesday and Thursday. It's the first time that I got that right. uh, At 8pm GMT time. So, uh, go and uh, explore the channel and have a look at some of our old stuff. Yeah, you might find something you like. But on with Ten Nights Show. And that is franchises that have run their course. We're going to be mildly controversial, and then we're going to follow that up by being spectacularly controversial. That's right, folks. You picked a winner of a video to watch right now, because you're going to either love us or hate us in about ooh, six to seven minutes, I'd say. We'll see about that. I suppose we will. Um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to start the fire big and loud. Okay. Uh, a franchise that has probably gone far enough, Indiana Jones. Now, this is hot off the heels that there is another Indiana Jones movie planned. I love, I want to get this out of the way. I love Harrison Ford. I absolutely adore the first three Indiana Jones movies. Then something happened. I don't know where, let's not mention it. And apparently they're doing something again. I think Indiana Jones uh, ran its course. I think there was a trilogy of great movies. And anything after that, what they have done and what they're about to do is really just it's going to be taking the shine off something really, really shiny. So I think I'm putting that down as one that run its course. No, I definitely, I definitely agree with the, the, uh, the three movies, uh, which goes Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Temple of Doom and, and Last the Last Crusade. Crusade. They're, they're masterpieces in, in the adventure, the archaeologist adventure, like, you know, kind yeah. of like mysterious supernatural kind of thing going on. Like they really nailed them. Then they moved on to that fourth one, which is the only movie the the one of the only two movies that I've ever walked out on. Um, which is just they they I think it really feels like they got greedy. Mm. And like Because they did. Yeah, and the worry is that the next one is going to be similar to that. Greedier. See, I think it's gonna be greedy less. Yeah. No. But it's still gonna be in that greedy section that it's gonna be you're you're gonna hate it more because you were like Oh, there's the old indie stuff, but yeah. it's also mixed in with that crap. I think they're going to cash in on nostalgia. And look, I genuinely, I really do. Harrison Ford uh, was starred in some of my favorite films. I have a big, big soft spot, but I don't. I don't want to do a nostalgia Jones film either because the Indiana Jones that uh, doesn't need that. That it's a franchise that should live long in everybody's memory, not be the punchline to a joke. It's over. Go home. Which does bring us on to our next one, which Paul chose. Yeah, I chose this one because of, I'm going to say, two of the later ones. Mm. Uh, The Die Hard franchise. We had three, once again, three great films. I'm going to say the fourth Uh, fourth, was mediocre. See, this is, yeah, I was going to say three good films. The fourth was like mediocre and not overly well received. It was like kind of like, you know, uh, lukewarm kind of thing. But uh, then they just went on and it was just like, oh, you're still doing this. Can we, can we do our party piece of uh, trying to remember what all the uh, pseudonyms or other names for the Die Hard films were? So it was Die Hard. Yeah. Die Hard 2 was called Die, Die Hard, Harder. Die Harder. Then uh, the third one was called Die Hard with a Vengeance. And the fourth was called Live Free or Die Hard. Yeah. And the last one was called A Good Day to Die Hard. Yeah. That segues nicely into why maybe this franchise has run its course. Yeah. That last one was a good day for the whole thing to die. It wasn't anywhere near the caliber of the other films. No, not really at all. And all it's really done now is anytime I think of Die Hard, it does creep in there. And yet Die Hard is, Die Hard the original movie is one of the greatest movies of all time. But as a franchise, it was another one of those. You had three amazing movies. When they got away with the fourth one, which they did get away with for me. Yeah. That was it. Stop there. I'm I'm worried there'll be another Die Hard before long. Yeah, I'm not, I won't be surprised. And the thing that I'm going to get, I'm going to point now, I I won't be surprised if they do not have... Uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah. I will not be surprised if they don't have Bruce Willis. I think it'll be a sad moment within the franchise because it'll be like the, thir- the fifth one was the last nail in the coffin for me. Yeah. And this, the sixth one, if it, once again, 
they make it and then they also don't have Bruce Willis. So we're just like, oh, you've just pissed all over the coffin. Yeah, I, I think that that's, well, that's just diehard name only at that point. So I, anyway, you've diehard, you've run your course. Let's just hold on to the memories and everybody go out, get to your, your DVD collection or whatever it is that you have. Watch the first three again, even give the fourth one a spin. But let's hope that that's all we ever get to watch at a Die Hard. It's over. Go home. Now, moving on to the more controversial end of things, the next couple are the ones that we were warning you about. There are going to be people throwing stuff. I'm going to ease us in with Alien. Again, you'll notice that all of these are franchises that we love a lot. That's why sometimes if you love something, you have to set it free. <laughs> That's a very sweet moment. Yeah, so. that, was, that was my soft moment. If you love it, sometimes you have to let it die or maybe even take it out the back and put it out of its misery. That is true for Alien for one reason. Alien, amazing film. Aliens, amazing film. Alien 3, personally, I like it. Alien 4, I'm not going not gonna to get into that right now. Uh, it's when you start getting to the Prometheus and Alien Covenant and stuff. I know people want more Alien, uh, Ridley Scott Alien films. And people also wanted the Dennis Villeneuve Alien film. And like, there's there's lots of stuff. I think maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to just go, we, we've, we've got close enough. Maybe we should stop now because they run the risk of irreparably, irreparably damaging this. Now, I know you don't f- fully agree, yeah. but I think you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, I, I do think that the Prometheus and the Covenant movies have done have done damage, but not not so much damage that they can't pull back from it. Because uh, like, I think that they just need to like stop trying to... like the It's the... It's the uh, shadow it's the monster not being seen is more scary than the monster that you see yeah and in in the first four in the first three movies yes we had very little information about where they were coming from yes. or what they were like you know like their history and everything we knew that they evolved from taking hosts and stuff but prometheus and covenants has really ruined like you know the mystery of the aliens yeah you know and but like so stop doing that and just go back to like the scary boogeyman in the in the in the shadows movies where you like you've got you like you could literally go back to once like a, a spaceship like the har the haunted house motif again hmm. which is spaceship in space somehow it gets an alien on board we have to deal with this shit you know kind of thing yeah. like the, the Prometheus and stuff it's just like stop landing on planets and I'm yeah. like <laughs> you know what's going to happen like right? the, yeah I don't I don't care like first of all Covenant s- sets off with why the fuck would you go to a planet that you haven't surveyed when you're going to a planet that you have that's one that's already my Covenant thing Prometheus that's like the one that I was just like fuck off with yeah Prometheus ruined a lot of things for me I know I'm going a little heavy with this but yeah. uh, the um, the short stories that they brought out for the for the the with them trying to bring it back yeah they're back to the original stories like. yeah but and and that's the thing so it can be done and that's why i'm saying you know maybe this is over for me for one reason i don't believe that it can't be done i agree with you mm-hmm. i just fear the danger is too high because there have been a few attempts and i'm not seeing things going in the right direction i see that they could but i also see that they aren't yeah i, I do get where you're coming from and i yeah. agree with you completely and I've, I've said that here's a little play on word i've said this before no prequels like the prequel idea is it, it you don't have to pass go you're going straight to jail for a prequels just knock it off people try and go forward prequels have not been a great or fertile ground for storytelling ever yet for the last 20 30 years they seem to be all that people want to do yeah i guess we're not going to be leaving now right i'm sorry newt you don't have to be sorry it wasn't your fault that's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I, I said alien, so this this yeah, one this, came from you. Yeah. And this is where the lightning hits the machine. Because I say that the Star Trek franchise should stop with the with the uh featured movies. Um now it's it's not some the like it's similar to the aliens kind of thing uh, that Patrick was saying. He's on his own. We've had too many. I'm perfectly <laughs> I can stand on this island on my own. I'm perfectly happy. We've had We've had some really, really good movies from the Star Trek universe, um, which goes, but we've had uh, the the return is getting less and less. Like with the next generation, we have like three films there that were great. Um, with the original Star Trek, we have we have 
quite a few there's probably two yeah. in that repertoire that i can really like point out and go they were shit in the new ones and the, the the paramount's uh new star trek the jj abrams ones um which is if you want to see a video about like, oh, yeah. the top jj abrams films you can see where patrick is currently pointing um it, we had like one and a half good films there yeah. and there was three films so yeah. like the, it's diminishing returns the law of diminishing returns is, is being applied and I, I get you and I guess I don't I don't disagree actually I disagree a little just because I'm like ah oh, but you know they could turn this around for the same way that you just said they could turn this around but I actually think the way they would have to turn this around is to do what you're saying stop and pretend like the, the movie uh, universe is over and just go back to the basics you could have Star Trek do what Star Trek does really well. Do TV, do serialized TV. In about 15 years, when you've done two series, you know, when you've had your next generation of Deep Space Nine again, or whatever the hell it might be, then you can start up your, your movie uh, universe again. Yeah. So so do it the way Star Trek has always done it. It's worked before for a reason, and I think it's kind of integral to, to what that universe is no for, yeah i do agree because we like with the with the start focus on your tv sh- series uh, and then maybe from there because if if you do look back yeah you're very much right the original star trek series broke off to the to the feature films and the next generation broke off to the new generation films so like you've got two series currently going or two series uh discovery mm-hmm. which i know is a lot of people kind of like on the on the the, the border of it but you've also got uh, no the more prequels uh, well yeah you've got <laughs> the Enterprise Discovery mm. you know Voyager's the only one out of that group uh, that's linked into the into the you know continuous Asia yeah. um, but you've got now Picard yeah which is interesting because at least that is going forward from some point even though it's a prequel to some other things but yeah I think it's it's a good chance there's your chance right there mm-hmm. take Picard have a series work, reinvigorate people for Star Trek, have another separate Star Trek series, do it not as a prequel, go forward, and then from there, if it's working, you get to make your movies again. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. Don't do time travel. Yeah, maybe try and avoid that. Yeah, just if you can. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> now, uh, we've saved the best for last. There's going to be a few honourable mentions at the end of this. Uh, I, I said this one, a lot of people are going to go, what? Uh, I think... James Bond may have run its course. I think maybe at the end of its necessary usefulness. I don't know what, what way do people refer to machine parts and stuff. It's, it's had its useful life now. James Bond is, what, 24, 25 films in. We've had six James Bonds. Uh, they've all taken variations on the same formula. But you've now create James Bond created its own worst enemy, which is films that did James Bond without needing James Bond in them. Jason yeah. Bourne being an example. Yeah. Um, there's lots, actually. We've got Jason Bourne. You've got uh, the Jack Ryan series, uh, yep. which is on Amazon with John Krasinski. Mm-hmm. And the have, Jack Ryan movies, which were, yeah. You've got Hannah. You've got, like, you know, the girl with the dragon tattoo stuff. You know, yeah. there's, there's plenty of, like, you know, espionage films out there that have more, that like, you've got to take and even if you want to really go for that yeah. way. Yeah. You've got a good like portion of espionage films and stuff that are more kind of I guess gritty and because they've had no pre existing They don't have to keep the camp baggage with them. And look, I, I I really am I'm a person who likes James Bond. I really do like James Bond, I grew up in James Bond. And I'm not just talking about it has to go because of the misogyny. The misogyny has to go anyway. Um, and it absolutely has to. But I think the uh, the concept of James Bond being an enduring franchise if it doesn't if it doesn't change completely i'm not sure what purpose it serves i don't know what the legacy of james bond is now serving the future of james bond you know i i don't i don't see the need for the connection any longer realistically yeah no i definitely get that you know it is it is a it has getting once again the diminishing returns kind of thing with the daniel yeah. craig series you've got and mission the- impossible is now doing better james bond in a new different it's taken a section everybody's taken a section from james bond and doing that bit better and James Bond as a whole, it's, it can't even be its own stuff anymore. Anyway, honourable mentions. I would like to say to Sylvester Stallone, uh, Last Blood is coming out. Mm. That's unnecessary for, for Rambo. Um, yeah. Particularly because I've always had the Rambo argument of there were Rambo films and then there's First Blood. Because First Blood was a masterpiece. And then Rambo films were fun action films. Yeah, no, great. 
Rocky uh, has a slightly different path, but it's probably it's also run its course. I think for me. Yeah. No. They moved on to Creed. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I I do I I get you there with the Rocky esque films. Mm. It's it's done. Don't have them again, kind yeah. of thing. But like they're moving into you know bringing uh, Apollo Creed's son into the mix, but yeah. still having the uh, Rocky Balboa kind of character there as like a mentor kind of thing. Yeah, it's a it's a good way of going about very it. much. So and it's maybe the textbook way to when you've had your time to pass it on. So fair play on one side of that, Sylvester. Good job on Rocky to Creed. Bad job on bringing back Rambo right now. I think because mm-hmm. you're not helping the legacy. Uh, at all no no matter how good an action film this is unless it really has a massive amount of heart which uh, well if you look at the one previous to that and if you look at the trailer for this it, it, it's not looking there so no. um, any any anybody else you'd like to annoy on internet land oh uh, yeah I do have one that's an honorary mention but it's also because I'm on the border right now because the next film is just coming out um, I'm on the fence for the MCU Continuing on. You saved that bombshell to yeah, the Yeah, I decided to save it Just on. so everybody knows, you're talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. End game and 21 films before it. 22 films 22 before films. it. Yeah, the 21 films before it. Yeah. Ten games to and now uh, soon to be Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, Far From I'm Home. on the fence of, of the MCU continuing on because like, I, I trust them in being able to continue it on, but I don't know how far that trust will stretch. And I think I think the Spider Man film will be will go a long way to put me either on one side or the other. We're not the most prepared people in the world, but I can show you the notes, um, which yeah, just have a few things listed on. This didn't come up anywhere, and weirdly, I kind of agree. Yeah, like I'm, uh, like, and, but not in a literal sense, but in a in a figurative sense. <laughs> like I I don't think they actually should stop, but it does have that feeling of well maybe we might look back at this being the time when they should have taken a 10 year break after their good 10 years. Yeah. See, this is my thing is uh, like, you know, mm. I'm as the Spider-Man film is going to be the one that puts me further in either camp kind of thing, I yeah. guess, you know, but I'm like, I'm, I guess the best way is I'm worried. This is, this is the stage where yeah. I'm worried. I've trust Marvel up to this point. I will continue to trust them, but I'm worried now. And this yeah. is the first time in the universe that I'm worried about it. I have I have faith in them, but since in the few seconds I've had to digest this bombshell, <laughs> I really, I do think, and I guess that is the only way I can put it, I think this might be the moment that we look back on and go, you know, if they just stopped then, then they would have been fine. They could have come back five, six years later, 10 years later, and it would have been fine. It's like we all look at what DC did wrong and we go, well, if they just, at that point, I think this might be that point that crossroads yeah. so we'll see yeah right. you hope it's not definitely hope it's not but this could be the moment in which we go yeah there you go yeah. also good job on, on helping us like I thought the list was going to annoy a lot of people as it was now you've basically just <laughs> gone and taken hey internet you know the thing that all of you finally agree on and love that's the one we should stop well I, as I said I don't think it should be stopped no, no, it should I just be. I'm worried that this is the point that it yeah I guess it sh- that, might, that it might have to stop yeah. you know I kind of yeah on the fence kind of thing yeah. I thought it would be a good bombshell to hit with, uh, with yeah I, I can't I can't fake surprise I am genuinely surprised that's great though um, yeah so at the risk of running too long I just want to get it out there to, if you've enjoyed this throw a little like and subscribe on there um, check out our other videos don't forget to share with your friends but most importantly uh, comment down below I'd love to hear definitely anything that you think that we're wrong about because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of that uh, but also if there's any franchise that you would particularly go you know what it's had its time it's been a faithful uh, companion now let's put it out to pasture yeah no I definitely agree I, I look forward to, to seeing your guys comments on that look forward to the flames yeah. and on that note I have been Patrick and I've been Paul and we are collectively together hear us out and we're done see you later I could not put Fast and the Furious on this list because of Hobbs and Shaw it's like do you know what that's a universe that, or a franchise that could go fucking anywhere yeah uh, we could quite literally be watching that 40 years from now on space bike things. <laughs>